I'm now moving to another situation in which we have a very thin biotype gingival tissue. In this situation, placing a single cord might not be enough for achieving good retraction and also soft tissue might collapse over the margin and over the retraction cord. And even using larger cord or double cord technique might cause a heavy pressure and trauma to the soft tissue with subsequent gingival height loss and permanent recession. So in mandibular anterior zone, in mandibular premolar zone, and also for the maxillary canine zone, gingival tissue is very thin, especially from the buccal side. So placing a single cord might not be sufficient to make ideal retraction and also for homeostasis. So in these situations, we need another material that can cause more vertical and horizontal displacement for the tissue and also hemostasis. So I'm using retraction based, which contain aluminum chloride. This paste is efficient for hemostasis because of the effect of the aluminum chloride. But this material is not efficient for achieving good vertical and horizontal displacement because the minor displacement caused by this material is only caused by the viscosity of the material when placing and when injecting into the sulcus. So we need another material to achieve ideal retraction. So we are placing the single cord, then placing this retraction based on top of the cord to achieve the ideal retraction and the ideal hemostasis. So this retraction based is mainly used for hemostasis due to the effect of aluminum chloride. Also, this material can cause little pressure, so it will not cause any trauma to the soft tissue, especially the very thin biotype gingival tissues. Here is after removal of the cord and the base, and this is the final scan with completely retracted soft tissue.